everybody calm down in the back. My good friend, my sister in music, the one and only fashion is in the building. Fashion is trending, if you don't know. Calm down, people. Fashion, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. NYC better stand up right now. <laughs> yeah, awesome. NYC slash Long Island. Let's not forget Long Island. Period. <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. So I first want to say um, you look amazing. You look so refreshed. Because I know you've been out here in these streets. You've been working. You're like, you're like on the grind nonstop. So congratulations to all mm -hmm. your much well-deserved success. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yes. And um, complimentary of the yellow cup. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That, oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> what? Fashion. So where does the name fashion come from like as a stage name that's very authentic and is very original how did you get that name um at first honestly um being a rapper come and really didn't know what for myself you know I was basically naming myself just stupid names that never really quite fit me well um the name actually came when I was in high school, just dressing, me constantly putting things together, um, you know, me living at my house and just seeing my family dress a certain way. So it kind of rubbed off on me. And I'm like, you know what? I just start like coming into myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to put these polka dots with this pinstripe with this little bit of paint splashed yeah. on it. <laughs> and then um, eventually, you know, me doing what I do just came together and the teacher one day was like, yo, listen, I'm gonna call you fashion. And from there, I just ran with the name. Wow. Yeah. So are you basically saying your teacher named you fashion? Yes. Cause I never really knew what to call my. So, and it's like, this is your name. This is who you are. And from there I ran with it. That's a beautiful thing. Like, and shout out to all the teachers around the world because they play like significant roles in all of our lives. Like, it, of, I, I of course, I, you, besides us having our parents, a teacher plays a major role. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you go check your kids. Teacher. Say what? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, period. <laughs> You know, your energy is so, so like out of this world, but mm -hmm. it's so relatable because okay. you know how people be like, they be turned up, but they be like turned up for like no reason. Like you have yeah. reasons to turn up. Like you, you always are putting yourself in the position to win. And that's since I first met you, I saw that about you as an artist, you were trying to find that right niche sound and you just refuse to give up until you got it right and baby mm -hmm. when I tell you you ain't never got it wrong honey listen <laughs> thank you I really appreciate that so thank speaking you. of that your sound how do you describe mm -hmm. your sound um my sound is iconic my sound is rare um it took me a while to figure out my sound. Um, I basically was like on a search, like, oh my God, like, what is it? Like, I got this person telling me to do this. I got this person telling me to do this. And then you you got to like start talking to yourself, like what feels good to me as an artist, as an individual. And I just felt like, you know what? I, sh I should like start dress, start basically finding my style within my style on the street so basically when i say that I mean um to basically make sure my music reflects what i wear so when i say that i'm basically saying like there's nothing off limits for me when it comes to dressing so i feel my music to reflect the same thing yeah. so why should i have to put myself in a box because you feel like i should create this you know 
So mm-hmm. I basically just started to do all kinds of different genres of music to create something special. Fire. I love that. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. My, one of my favorite songs is Your House. Your okay. House is my rocker. Listen, look at okay. it. Be, okay. Now, you, you got a lot of, now let me be clear. You got a lot of bangers. Like going to okay. your YouTube page and just seeing everything that you've done just over the years. You are, you, you're not just a, an artist. You're also a performer. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like no music playing and you got the mic and you kill it. Acapella. Yeah. yeah. The roots of that, where did that come from? Um, you know, that came from basically me watching Michael Jackson, Aretha Franklin, you know, I mean, people that you really can idolize in this music game, Prince, you know, people like that, when they perform, I always wondered, like, and always wanted the feeling that, like, Michael felt. Like, when Michael performed, it was like, you felt chills, you felt it. And I feel like music should always give you that feeling. And if I can basically come across to you with my music, that means when I perform, I need to have that same feeling. I need to make you feel that same thing. And that that's a rare thing for um, artists nowadays because you can still be an artist but not know how to perform. That's something that's totally different. So true. I mean, that came to me over time, and that's and that took practice. Like I didn't just get here like this. You know, it it took practice. It took me constantly doing it over and over to develop this talent. Girl, you making my heart like just melt right now. You better spin these facts. <laughs> You spend like legend, like period. And thank you for that. Thank you because um, I I haven't seen your entire journey, but the part of the journey that I have seen, it's it's crazy, um, but it's so relatable. And I just want to say, I was sitting at the house one night, me and my boo thing, you know, me and hubby sitting at the house and we, and we watching TV. BMF is, is, is on, right? Okay. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm a, you know, I gotta be a Detroit fan, you know. Shout out to Detroit, y'all. You know, what's up, D? <laughs> Say what? Look, come on, Tika, let's go. And so I'm looking at this one scene. Well, you know, baby girl go in the bathroom with look crazy. And <laughs> and I hear this this music playing in the background, and I'm like, so you've had placements on syndicated television not shout out to 50 cent and all of all that he's doing in in the industry right now it's crazy yes so let's talk about that movement that's a that's a big move um being a part of 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 such a legendary um um television uh show BMF. Yes, I mean, um, actually, it was my first um, placement. Um, I'm very thankful for it. Um, let's shout out the the producer Armando Colon. Um, great guy. He produced for Janet Jackson. He produced he produced for Busta Rhymes. Also, Young Fashion. Say what? Damn. <laughs> so, um, you know, like I said, it was an amazing thing. I'm very grateful for the opportunity, and I'm just looking to actually do more. Um, and that's my like focus now, definitely more placements. I love that. I love that. Um, what was it like for young fashion growing up? Oh, growing up. Um, I mean, growing up, I'll say pretty good, you know, um, middle-class citizen, you know, fly. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go. (laughs) What what can I say? You know, um, um, got most of my talent from my mother and my father, my mother singer, my father dressing rapper, um, also uh, ex-drug dealer. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of got 
the street so when you hear the street fashion you understand where i got that aspect from um just my family my father and like his background and i got like you know the talent for us like the singing and you know putting melodies together and things like that from my mother your pen game is 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 crazy um i've seen so many different levels um of your pen game and i just mm. ask you who are some of the influences that you have right now that are in your life mm. who that's oh that's in my life yeah hmm. let's see um just everyday people you know just everyday people um I have so many people that I can actually look to for guidance and, you know, help if I need, or, you know, just, just, um, basic things that, you know, you feel like you need to know as a young lady in this world. Um, I think that, you know, even you, like I look at your stuff and I'm like, yo, she don't stop, you know, like that's incredible. It's the same way you look at me. Like I, I could say that you influenced me. So I think that, you know, my, my, um, people that definitely influence me or my surroundings really okay. yet every day I mean yet every day you know person getting up to go to work or getting up to basically shoot for their dream like that's my influence I love that thank you for that um you're such a role model because your words don't just sound good it's also in your music and yeah. um, I want to say that the picture that you did with the roller skates, listen, sis, can you, can, can you please just give me that whole <laughs> outfit? I want the whole fit, okay? From head to toe. <laughs> who, um, who helps you with your designing, your outfits? Like, who helps you with that? Well, my significant other um, basically helps me with my image and you know like far as the creativity so I go um most of it I was doing by myself but it's it feels so good to actually have someone to actually come in and give me direction sometimes at first we used to like bump heads about it but you know because I'm so used to doing things by myself but when us you artists, have enough us artists you know. <laughs> yeah yeah you know you know how I go but when you have another creative mind it opens my mind to more of even uh, even more of a creative side okay. and bring things out of me that I didn't know that I had within myself. Um, I think that the people just need to see me do everything. My name is fashion. So I always have to be a, like ahead of the game. I love that. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I like about um, what you're also bringing to the game is you always acknowledge your team. Let's talk yeah. about your team. Um, who on the team fashion? Say that again. Who's on the team? Oh man, God, God is number one on the team. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. No dot dot. Um, like I said, yeah, um, my team is real cool, real dope, real supportive. Um, they actually from my neighborhood. Um, Joey, he watched me grow up, he understands my creativity. He always understood that I, you know, I did everything by myself. I never had no one backing me. You know, I never had a team. Um, so basically, um, he was someone that watched me come up from the ground up. So it was just like the perfect fit. And I think that sometimes it takes years. You know, the wall wasn't built in one day to find that one thing that fits. And, you know, it was a blessing finding these people in general, like every last one of them, I think that everybody adds something beautiful to the to the big picture. Right. And I feel that in the future, it's like, you know, I can be successful, but I'm only as successful as my surroundings, you know? Right, that's right, that's right. So, so shout out to HZ. Say what? Say what? Say what? Y'all gotta get the saying that, say what? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to MHZ for holding my girl down. So many more amazing things to come to you, fashion. It's not the end. This is like literally, I feel like this is literally just the beginning. Like it's literally the beginning for you. 
because your heart is so pure. You've endured pain, loss, um, and you you you've come through that, and you're coming through mm-hmm. with you're coming through smelling like roses, baby. Listen. <laughs> And, and I'm handing them out as well. Everybody, everybody. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Um, I, I want to know um, a little bit more about where fashion is going, because you're doing a lot. You're not just a recording artist. You're also an actress. Yeah. Like you, you killing it. Yeah. So what do you have yeah. um, in the works right now? Um, you'll definitely see some acting from me um also of course music um and just basically just me doing and mentoring and you know giving my um my free time as well to my community and kids or maybe even grown-ups you know everybody needs a helping hand um i'm just trying to spread my love as much as I me mean. I know this is an awful time for everybody. A lot going on in this world. The internet is is like the damn uh, devil. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that we all, no for real. I think that we all need some stability and you know some grounding point. So, but um, yeah, definitely my future is God knows. Like I can't even tell you whatever He has in store for me. But definitely acting, definitely music. Um. The fashion is always going to be here. That's my name. And you just never know what's, what's next for me. I love um, that. Um, where can the people find you and your music? Well, your house is actually on Spotify. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. iTunes. So you guys definitely check that out. Um, also, I have uh, three mixtapes that's on datpiff.com. Sugar Honey Ice Tea, Volume One, Volume Two, Volume Three. Um, man, I, I have <laughs> I have so much. I have so much, and um, also I'm about to drop a new single called "Cut Out the Bag." So look for that. So I, I have a lot going on. So definitely stay tuned. I have a lot of music coming, and you just like I say, you never know what's next for me. Once it drops, you know it's rocking on Iconics Radio. So like. <laughs> yeah. And that's Bring what's it. up. <laughs> that's how we do it. You you always have a home here. Um, we love you. Um, okay. And it's 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 so good to see someone that knows the old school game with the old school feel with the new school swag. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Like I like I said, you know, like the old school. You know, that's where music really came from that's that's the root of music and I think that you know us new age people need to understand that that's where we get a lot of creative ideas from period the old you know a lot of people go back and I mean if you really an artist you will know that's the people you need to go study that's right uh, me understanding that concept I'm deadly period period <laughs> listen Girl, I'm I'm just I'm I'm just ready for you to start spinning some bars, but I know you got so much to do today. Oh, Listen, man. y'all better get y'all pen and y'all pass out. My, my my sister's dropping gems today, and I just really appreciate it for speaking for the new school. You know what I mean? So with yeah. that being said, um where can the people go and literally find you and jam you like iconics radio? Of course, I'm yeah, trying to no. this this is my number one at first home right here. This is where I just, I just, little, I just need to know. <laughs> yeah, this is where the welcome carpet is at, and you know, I, this is where love at fashion goes with a love at. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so um, you have some young people that are at home um, that are watching. Mm-hmm. You. And they're inspired by you because I'm definitely inspired by you every day. I see you post something. You make me hungry when y'all be at the crib cooking. <laughs> like, te- like tell my friend, I, 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 you know, I'm looking for a plate. We're looking for a plate <laughs> one day. <laughs> so, so, but, they're, but they're sitting at home and they're watching you. They're inspired. What was mm-hmm. encouragement would you um, like to give to them? 
Um, my encouragement will be just to never give up. Um, there were always going to be roads and obstacles and twists and turns and ups and downs, but just don't get discouraged. Um, I'm a person that, you know, I saw a lot. I came from a lot. I, you know, I go through a lot. I mean, you might can't tell, but at the end of the day, it's, it's you know, how you carry yourself, you know, you wear your smile and you get through it. You go through, but you get through. Right. And that's just the message that we just give the world. Like you go through, but you get through. And I got through. So this is why you have fashion stay trended. Say what? Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, guys. Listen, um, fashion, you know, we like to play a little game every now and then. Okay. You, you want to play a little game, Fashion? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yay. Let's play it. Okay. Because I play games in real life, but I do it anyway. So like, no. Period. <laughs> now, okay, now I'm going to call you out to the Uno table um, when I see you in person. I just want you to know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. First question. I'm going to give you some um, some choices to choose from as well, okay? Okay. First question. What musical instrument does Steve Urkel play? Damn, Steve Urkel? A, the ukulele, B, uh -huh. the accordion, or C, the harmonica? The accordion. Period. That's right. That's right. Come on, let's go. That's yeah. good. Okay, I'm, I'm watching you now because you know we got to represent for the. Okay. All right. Okay. okay, here we go. Next one. Finish this Christina Aguilera lyric. What a girl wants, what a girl A has, B sees, or C needs. C needs. Come on, fashion. See, this is easy, but see, them youngsters, they don't know. They're like, who the hell is Christina? Listen, listen. Oh, she, come on. That's, That's one of legend. That's an icon. Yes. Let's go. Okay, now I know you're going to get this one. I know you got this one. What is the name of Will Smith's character in Independence Day? A, Captain Stephen Hiller. B, Captain Sam Wilson or C Captain Rick Jones. Oh, this is where you go. <laughs> okay. Um I said again. What is the name of Will Smith's character in Independence Day? Don't Google it fashion and don't nobody I'm not, back here play either. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A Cap, you know this girl. A, Captain Stephen Hiller. B, Captain Sam Wilson. Or C, A. that's right. Come on, fashion. All right. <laughs> You're on the rent streak. Last one. Last one for the road. Let's go. Okay. In what year was The Lion King released? A, 1992. B, 1994, or C, 1990? Ooh. Simba, think of Simba. What age are you? What oh, age are you? B. You're right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. Okay, like you are. I don't like losing. I had to win. <laughs> this has been so much fun fun to have you my Libra sis my yes. sis like I'm just so I proud of you thank you so much I'm 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 so serious and um the new music that's coming out what you got that again yeah the new the new single you got coming out what you got oh cat out the bag Get yeah. out the bag. That's right. yeah. That's supposed to be dropping soon. Um, like I said, we just shot a clip for the video up. Um, 
just a clip. We give we just giving you guys an appetizer before the entree. Um, when my team get back from London, we supposed to shoot the rest of the video, and then we gonna really go full effect with it. All right. Well, thank you, Fashion, for joining us. I love you. We love you here at Iconics Radio. Y'all tap in. It's your girl, Michelle Rose. Fashion is state trending. We are in <laughs> out.